In this code.org lesson, we have an end of course project. Yep, that's what we have. Let's go. This is code.org. Let's see here. A bunch of examples. Munster dance. And let's hit run. Oh, do I have to click it? We can always read the code. So this is making them generate. What if I click here? <laughs> Boom. Oh, and you see they react to these buttons depending on the button we click. That's a pretty cool example. Let me head back to where I was. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, bunch of code here, run. Let's see, can I move? Ah, what if I get the cupcake? Oh, oh, ouch. Cool, okay, so it's a little bit of a game. In this code and, yep, lesson, it's the this. end of course These project. These are some really good examples. So yep, that's what it is. is Let's uh, go. I'm jumping around too much. Let's see what this one is. Boom, draw something awesome. Oh, okay, so they started us with this hexagon drawing thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, and one more. Let's see what this is. Draw something awesome. Oh, that one's cool too. Okay, so these are some great ideas and we really do wanna keep these in mind. Look how they have a function that does small flower. I don't see where that function is, but I'll believe them. And they're repeating this pattern. Hey, so let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, I think I can click, yep. Oh, awesome. Okay, so let's go through, I'll go through all three of these examples and I'll start with A. Create a project. And we saw one of their examples was that game. So I'm going to take do something like that. So here's my sprite. What about my world? Ooh, set background. Hmm. Sure. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. And then let's go ahead and this will be my character. And remember, we can always move by clicking. Kwapow. And I think I'm going to be... Rocket. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh no, I like this one. Hey, where'd it go? There we are. So I'm going to be a rocket. And then let's make uh, some enemies, I guess. And if we were paying attention to what they did, I could certainly go something like this and, you know, set a, up over here. Let me pick a. We'll say I'm fighting enemy alien robots. Alien robots. Quicha. So maybe one of these, but we need more than one of these, right? So they used a loop, but I don't think we have access to one of those. So let me just kwapow and kwapow. Granted, if we had a repeat block, it'd be better. So first, all of our alien robots, and then you can pick where they start. I like the idea of having them start at a random location. So I'm going to get rid of that and that and that. Boom, boom, boom. And really, you should look at theirs to get some examples. There's a lot of great ideas, All right? Random location set. And then let's think about what we might need to have next. So we want to be able to control our ship. OK, so up, down, left, right. And then what are these going to do? Let's give this a try. First, I got to make sure I'm uh, controlling my rocket. Boom. All right. Run. And I'll hit arrows. So I can move really slow, but that works for me. Okay. Then what do I want? Let's say when you touch them, we'll have all of them jitter. Okay, so they'll jitter, and then I'm gonna, and then I can choose to have them stop jittering at some point too. So maybe the next time the player hits up, I'll tell all of those guys, stop. And you get the basic idea here. You're just planning out a bit of a game. Let's hit run. I'm gonna hit my arrows. And they jitter as I get close because of the costume. So we can take a look at that and change that. See how this is a square area? And so anywhere in that square area is where we're hitting. So I could color them or something like that. I'm okay with it. And we have them jittering. We could even do something like behavior. We could change the background color. You really just want to make this yours. So that's an example of that project. Create an artist project. Ooh, I love this. All right. 
I'm going to say throw down a loop right away, as we've learned. And I'm going to say move forward. Remember all those shapes we made? I'll move forward 50, I don't know, four times. I'm going to move forward 50 and then, and you can have so much fun with this, turn right 15 degrees. Okay, let's see what this does. <laughs> I love it. Now what? Well, now after this, similar to what we've done before, again, just play around with this. I might do a 180, and then maybe I'll not use another loop here. <laughs> I love this. And then what if I did this three times? I think I'll head off screen in a sec. Oh, no, of course not, because I'll make a... That would make sense. I'll make a, well, kind of a cool triangle. Ooh, I love this. Now, I want to mess with the... I'm going to pick a random color each time. That I love. And then what if I do here another 180? Let me look here. Actually, let's use a function for this. This is going to be draw triangle, okay? And so this draws one complete triangle, right? I'll drop that here since we know how to use functions now. And I'm going to start off by saying draw triangle. And then what am I... And remember what this does. It's going to look for a function named draw triangle and the computer's smack. And it will run this drawing my three sides. Once I draw these three sides and it loops through, it hits the end loop, 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 hits this. Zoop. Once it's done with all of that... What should we do? Well, I think I'm going to turn 180 degrees. So, and then I'm going to draw another triangle. I can use my function and ask it to run this code again. So I'm going to run it slow so you can see what's going on here. Notice it's going to loop through this to draw the four sides, or the four parts of the side. Hits the bottom, I turn 180, and then I go back around, and this is going to let me draw four parts of each side. The reason I'm drawing three sides is the number three. Four parts to each side is controlled here. Once it's done, once I got one triangle, you'll notice it popped right back here. It ran draw triangle. I turned right, and then I ran this again. Boom. So I'm going to want to do this, though. I'm going to use another loop, and so I'm going to make four of these. Oh, okay. So I turned right 180, so I only want to do that part of it twice. Nope. I can just do it once, actually. Okay. So, and then I'm going to do that. And then what do I want to do? I'm going to turn 90. Because then I want to do it the other way. So I can actually use a loop here. Because what I was going to do is this. Draw a triangle. And then what? I would turn right 180. So, because that's just turning around. And then I would draw another triangle. Boom, boom. See how that works? But look, I'm repeating myself. And if you're repeating yourself in code, hopefully you know the drill. Just these three lines. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I can turn right 90 degrees when I'm done with all of this. Therefore, I can put a loop around the whole thing. I want to do that twice. Boom. Well, that's one. Now what? I can make this. I really like this shape. So what if I do, I don't know, another loop? I'll say twice, and then I'm going to have my guy turn 45 degrees. So this, I might put in another function now, so we can tell what's going on, called draw four, because that draws four triangles, or weird diamond things. And then I can use that function, draw four, here. So what will happen, I say two times over, draw four. And it goes, what the heck's that? Smack. It's going to run this code. Okay, two times I got to draw a triangle. What's that? Smack. Draws all four parts. Draws those four parts for each of the three sides. Three times over. Zoop. Sets the color one side, one part of the side, two parts of the side, three parts of the side, four parts of the side. Hits the bottom, turns 180. And then starts drawing on this side. Hits the bottom, third side. Zoop. Now it's done with this function. It goes back here and says, okay, I got to turn 180. And then I'm going to start drawing another triangle. Goes back up here, runs all of that, finishes off this triangle. Then I turn 90 degrees, which would be this direction. Hits the bottom of this, and now it has to run the whole thing again, because we haven't done this. 